please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the pledge. And now the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to this January 26th edition of the Daily Growl. I'm Daryl. And I'm Dugan. Happy Team Up Tuesday, Wildcats. We hope you dressed up as your favorite college or pro team today. Go Jags! Just saying. On this day in history, 1950, India formally becomes a republic. Happy birthday, India. Speaking of things we don't want to talk about, the weather today will be sunny. There will be a high of 80 and a low of 62 with a 10% chance of rain. Rain is possible on Wednesday or Thursday, but for the most part, it looks like a mild dry week. We'd like to wish a happy birthday today to Benjamin Kacha Leovich. We hope you have a wonderful birthday today, Ben. Students, check out yearbookordercenter.com in order to, to order your yearbook and seniors to submit ads. See our Daily Girl TV social media posts to see what all is due and when. Yearbooks are $100 bucks, that's it. This week is Celebrate Literacy Week at BCHS. We hope you enjoyed the cornhole at lunch yesterday. Today is Team Up Tuesday where we will dress to support your favorite pro or college team. We will play Wildcat Word Bingo in the cafeteria at lunch. Good luck. Wednesday is a day we will hunt for a good book. Don't forget to wear your camel and hunt for a good book in our school library or your classroom library. Also, you can join us for Wildcat Word Pictionary in the cafeteria at lunch. On Thursday, it will be Book Character Day, where you dress up as your favorite book character. We will play Kahoot in the Media Center for Candy Bars at lunch. Sounds amazing. Then, on Friday, to celebrate literacy, we will be guessing the song at lunch in a karaoke sort of way, so come join the fun. Wildcat Wrestling is back in action over in Clay County on February 6th, 5th, and 6th. Let's get after it, cats. Stay up with action by following us on Daily Growl social media for a full schedule. Spring, spring sports are now beginning. Be sure to check the schedules on Daily Growl social media to find out when your friends are competing. Get out there and cheer them on. They'll thank you for it. This week, Wildcat action continues with boys basketball hosting Camden County this Saturday. Girls basketball heads to Stanton today and Fletcher on Thursday to wrap up the season. Let's own the floor, Cats. Lady Wildcats flag football paperwork deadline has been extended to today. Turn it in. There is a participation fee for those who weren't involved in the cake auction before Christmas break. See Coach Brock for more details. First day of practice is February 16th. Who's excited? Wildcat Soccer will face Palatka in the first round of the playoffs. Let's get after it, Soccer Cats. Take it all the way. Wildcat Softball will have a mandatory meeting for each player and parents January 26th at 6 p.m. in the Media Center. Don't miss it. Speaking of raising the bar, Girls Weightlifting Regional Competition will begin January 27th to 30th in a location to be determined. We had several ladies win districts in, the ver in their various divisions, but overall, they're district champs. Let's go, girls. Visit bakerk12.org slash bchs and click on the calendar for a full schedule or follow Daily Growl TV on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to stay in the know. Students, if you are interested in trying out for the sideline cheerleading for 2021 to the 22 school, there will be a mandatory parent meeting on February 22nd in the gym at 6 p.m. Mark it down in your calendar. Also, don't forget about the mandatory cheer clinics on March 8th to 11th. Cheer trials will be March 12th. Your parents must attend the mandatory meeting and you must have a 2.0 GPA to try out. It's time again for Riddle Me Monday Reveal. The question was, suppose you have a 12 hour digital clock where the number representing the hour is always the same as the number representing the minute. That is, the clock can only show times like 808, 909, 1010, etc. What is the smallest time difference between the two such times? We We've had, had we had several classes get this correct today, and the answer was 49, which was 1212 and 101. Great job, Smarty Cats. We'll have a harder one next week. That's it for today. We hope you have a terrific Tuesday, Wildcats. We'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.